Dear brothers and sisters, today, let us delve into the profound truth of the equality of sin and the immeasurable grace offered to us through Jesus Christ. As we explore the universality of sin and the unparalleled salvation found in Him alone, may our hearts be open to the transformative power of His redeeming love. Romans 3.23 For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. In the eyes of God there is no distinction among sinners. Regardless of our backgrounds, circumstances, or actions, we all stand guilty before Him. From the beginning of time, humanity has been plagued by the consequences of sin, demonstrating our innate imperfection and need for redemption. Romans 3 Den Delve As it is written, There is no one righteous, not even one. There is no one who understands. There is no one who seeks God. All have turned away. They have together become worthless. There is no one who does good, not even one. Despite our best efforts, none of us can claim righteousness on our own merit. Our hearts are prone to wander, and our actions fall short of God's standard of perfection. Whether through acts of commission or omission, we have all fallen from grace and stand in need of forgiveness and reconciliation with our Creator. Hebrews 4.15 For we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet he did not sin. In contrast to our sinful condition, Jesus Christ stands as the sinless Son of God. Despite being tempted in every way, he remained steadfast in his obedience to the Father, offering himself as the perfect sacrifice for our sins. Through his death and resurrection, Jesus provided the only means by which we can be reconciled to God and receive forgiveness for our transgressions. Ephesians 2.8.9 for it is by grace you have been saved, through faith. And this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. Our salvation is not dependent on our own righteousness or good deeds, but is solely a gift of God's grace, received through faith in Jesus Christ. By believing in Him and accepting His sacrificial death on the cross, we are justified and made righteous in the sight of God. It is through His grace alone that we are saved underscoring the equality of sin and the universality of God's offer of salvation to all who believe. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. God's love knows no bounds and extends to every individual, regardless of the magnitude or frequency of their sins. His desire for reconciliation with humanity is so profound that He sacrificed His Son, Jesus Christ, to offer salvation to all who believe. This unconditional love demonstrates the depth of His grace and underscores the equal opportunity for every person to receive forgiveness and eternal life through faith in Jesus. Acts 3.19 Repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. While God's grace is freely available to all, it requires a response on our part. Repentance involves acknowledging God of our sinful nature and turning toward God in faith. By humbly believing, we open ourselves to the transformative work of His Spirit, experiencing the refreshing and renewal that comes from true repentance. Psalm 103.12 as far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. Through the redemptive work of Jesus Christ, God not only forgives our sins, but also removes them from us completely. His mercy knows no limits, and his grace is sufficient to heal even the deepest wounds of our souls. In embracing his forgiveness and walking in obedience to his word, we can experience the restoration and wholeness that come from being reconciled to God. Romans 8.1 Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For those who have placed their faith in Jesus Christ, there is a profound assurance of salvation. The guilt and shame of past sins are washed away, and we are declared righteous in God's sight. This assurance is not based on our own righteousness or merit, but on the finished work of Christ on the cross. As we abide in Him and walk according to His Spirit, we can live with confidence knowing that we are eternally secure in His love. Romans 5, 8, But God demonstrates His own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. God's love is not contingent upon our worthiness or our ability to earn it. 
Rather, it is freely given to us despite our flaws and failures. In his infinite love and mercy, God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die for us even while we were steeped in sin. This profound act of sacrificial love serves as a beacon of hope for every individual, reminding us that no matter how far we have strayed, God's love remains constant and unwavering. Romans 3.23 For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. In recognizing the universality of sin, we acknowledge that every person, regardless of their background or circumstances, is in need of God's forgiveness and redemption. None of us are exempt from the reality of sin, and therefore none of us can boast of our own righteousness. This realization humbles us before God and emphasizes the equality of all individuals in His sight. John 14, 6, Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The exclusive pathway to salvation is through faith in Jesus Christ. He alone has the power to forgive sins and reconcile us to God. By believing in His atoning sacrifice on the cross and accepting Him as our Lord and Savior, we receive the gift of eternal life and become heirs of God's kingdom. Salvation is not achieved through our own efforts, but is received as a free gift through faith in Christ. Ephesians 2, 8, 9 For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works so that no one can boast. God's grace is extended to all people, regardless of their past sins or shortcomings. Salvation is not earned through good deeds or religious rituals, but is bestowed as a gift of God's grace to those who believe. This ensures that no one can boast in their own righteousness, but can only attribute their salvation to the unmerited favor of God. Matthew 28, 19, 20. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. As recipients of God's grace and forgiveness, we are called to share the good news of salvation with others. Our understanding of the equality of sin and the sufficiency of God's grace compels us to extend His invitation to all people, inviting them to experience the same forgiveness and redemption that we have received. In doing so, we participate in God's mission of reconciliation and demonstrate His love to a world in need of hope and salvation. Philippians 2, 3, 4 Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. Humility is foundational to understanding the equality of sin. When we recognize our own sinful nature, we also acknowledge the shared humanity of every individual. This awareness fosters compassion and empathy toward others, leading us to value them as fellow recipients of God's grace. Through humility, we cultivate a spirit of unity and solidarity, recognizing that we are all on a journey of faith, seeking God's forgiveness and redemption. Colossians 3.12 Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, Clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. In light of our own experience of God's grace, we are called to extend compassion and kindness to those around us. Just as we have received forgiveness and redemption through Christ, we are to offer the same to others, regardless of their past mistakes or shortcomings. By embodying the virtues of compassion, kindness, and humility, we reflect the character of Christ and demonstrate His love to a world in need of healing and reconciliation. Micah 6, 8 He has shown you, O mortal, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. As followers of Christ, we are called to pursue justice and equity in our interactions with others. This includes advocating for the equal treatment and dignity of all individuals irrespective of their background or status. By standing against injustice and oppression, we bear witness to God's heart for reconciliation and demonstrate His kingdom values of love, mercy, and compassion. Galatians 3.28 There is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. In Christ, we are united as members of one body, regardless of our differences. As we gather in community, we celebrate the diversity of God's creation 
recognizing that every individual is equally loved and valued in his sight. By embracing unity amidst diversity, we create spaces of inclusion and belonging where all are welcome to experience the transforming power of God's love. Ephesians 4.32 Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Forgiveness is essential to breaking the cycle of sin and restoring relationships. As recipients of God's forgiveness, we are called to extend the same to those who have wronged us. By releasing bitterness and resentment, we free ourselves and others from the bondage of sin, creating opportunities for reconciliation and healing to take place. Galatians 5.1 It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. In Christ, we are liberated from the bondage of sin and shame, called to walk in the freedom of God's children. This freedom empowers us to live victoriously, unencumbered by the weight of past mistakes or failures. As we embrace the liberty found in Christ, we are emboldened to pursue lives of righteousness, compassion, and love, reflecting the transformative power of God's grace to a world in need. Dear brothers and sisters, may we continue to grow in our understanding of the equality of sin and the sufficiency of God's grace. Let us walk in humility, compassion, and justice, extending forgiveness and embracing freedom as children of God. In doing so, we bear witness to the transformative power of God's love and participate in His redemptive work in the world. Amen.